firewood and charcoal are among the first sources of energy used by mankind. It goes from cooking on small home stoves to the large quantities burned in big restaurants like this barbecue place. Aqui no dia normal aqui mais tranquilo a gente costuma usar na faixa de 100 a 120 kg de, de carvão por dia. And the huge loads that feed the blast furnaces where a significant amount of Brazil's steel and big iron is produced. One full rig like this carries about 100 cubic meters of coal. And this plant needs around 20 loads per day for its operations. It was because of big iron production that Brazil has become the largest producer of charcoal in the world. Even if production has significantly decreased in recent years, along with the drop in international metal prices, which only began to recover last year. José Brito is a researcher from the Institute for Forestry Research, who has been long studying the production and use of wood and charcoal in Brazil. O Brasil lidera há muito tempo a produção mundial de carvão vegetal e a diferença do Brasil como primeiro produtor em relação a todos os outros países é brutal. Tá? Nós já chegamos a produzir 12, 13 milhões de toneladas de carvão vegetal por ano. Hoje estão em torno de 6 a 7 milhões e o segundo colocado é um milhão para baixo. Só para você ter ideia a diferença. E o carvão, como havia mencionado, ele se destina fundamentalmente aí pelo menos 80% para atendimento cirúrgico. Brazil's intensive use of charcoal and steel and iron making dates back to the 1940s, when the country increased its output of iron ore but had no mineral coal available to process it. Metal Cedar is a family company which has been in this business since the early 1980s. They have installed capacity to produce about 400,000 tons of big iron per year in seven charcoal blast furnaces. More recently, they also inaugurated a foundry unit to produce auto parts, adding value to their own big iron. And it's all based on the charcoal produced with wood from their own eucalyptus farms that travel in these trucks for about 300 kilometers to the iron plant. Metal Cedars director Afonso Braga Filho says it's important for the company to produce their own charcoal. vegetal tendo próprio, nós temos a, a origem desse carvão, que é um carvão plantado e é um carvão de origem com clones de eucalipto. E isso facilita o nosso manuseio e sabemos que tipo de densidade tem esse material que possa ser juntado com o minério. For many years, the indiscriminate production of charcoal using native forests was a serious issue in Brazil. Large areas have been devastated by coal producers working either in the illegality or taking advantage of very loose environmental legislation. Dalci Ricas is the president of Minas Gerais Association for the Defense of the Environment in Brazil's main charcoal producing region. Eles se estruturaram em cima da derrubada da Mata Atlântica e do Cerrado de Minas Gerais. É difícil, infelizmente não existe estatística, mas assim, certamente eles foram responsáveis por muitos danos ambientais à água, ao solo, à biodiversidade. Destruíram muitas florestas para alimentar os fornos de guza. Over the last years, however, problems were significantly reduced as the crisis took off the market many of the smaller and more destructive companies and authorities passed the law regulating the use of native forests. E foram décadas de luta. É, em 2012, novembro de 2012, com a, com a aprovação do novo Código Florestal do Estado, foi inserido um artigo que fez um cronograma de consumo de carvão vegetal. Então, a partir desse ano 2018, nenhuma empresa ela não pode consumir mais do que 5% do seu total de consumo de carvão de origem nativa. É quando vai abrir uma estrada, vai construir alguma coisa que realmente vai haver corte de, de, de árvores nativas. Here in the state of Minas Gerais, steel and iron makers are forbidden by law from cutting any native trees to make coal. So many companies have their eucalyptus plantations. These trunks that you see here, for example, have been removed from this area and new trees have been planted. This one, for example, has been planted about 30 days ago and it takes seven years 
for them to grow and to reach that size to be ready for cut. During the seven years of growth, the trees of a managed forest are also absorbing carbon from the atmosphere. According to Brazil's iron and steel industry, this is enough to totally offset the emission of greenhouse gases when the metals are processed using charcoal rather than coke coal in the furnaces. The grown trees are then harvested by these machines that pick up half a dozen of them at a time as if they were flowers in a bouquet. After the harvest, the trunks are cut in regular chunks and loaded in these furnaces that are then lit. Forestry engineer Evaldo Alves is responsible for overseeing the charcoal production. Hoje a gente trabalha com esse forno retangular que é de 26 metros comprimento, 4 largura e 4 meio de altura. É, temos 16 dele em plena atividade que produz esse carvão que vocês estão vendo aí e que a gente manda para o setor siderúrgico da própria empresa Metal City. In this furnace, the wood is transformed into coal and this is how this works. The wood is put inside the furnace, it has to stay there for five days at 300 degrees centigrade while it becomes coal and then the furnace is cooled down for the coal to be removed. Romário here is just taking the temperature, let me ask him, qual, qual temperatura é agora? So it's 90 degrees right now, of course, below the 300 degrees because this furnace has already been cooled down and it will take a few days for the coal to be ready. Let me ask him, quantos dias mais ou menos então para o carvão estar pronto aqui? Yeah, another eight days then. The charcoal is then loaded onto the trucks for the long trip that will take it to the blast furnaces further south. As for the smoke that it leaves behind going up in the air, there are researchers looking for creative ways to use it. When the wood goes into the furnace for coal production, only about one third of all that biomass becomes actual coal. All the rest goes up in smoke. There is much water steam there, but also other byproducts. And here in the Federal University of Minas Gerais, Professor Vânia Paza leads a research group on how to use these byproducts. Hello, Professor. Good. Hello. Oh, well, so this is the actual wood tar, yes? Yes, here we have a liquid product. It's a kind of condensing the smoke, then we convert this into different products. So we can say that all these products are actually made from smoke? Yes. We have some polyurethane folds. For example, we have mm -hmm. a flex foam one, and here we have rigid foams made from biopitch. This product we can use in as thermal insulator, for example. So actually the star that could become pollution, if it's just released into the atmosphere, could actually become very yes. useful products, yes. Here we can add value in the biomass, in the eucalyptus biomass, and you can um, contribute to the economical feasibility of the charcoal industry here in Brazil. But despite the many industrial applications, about 20% of the charcoal produced in Brazil, over 1 million tons per year, is tested to cooking. In the traditional Brazilian barbecue, most cuts of meat are cooked on sticks above a bed of amber. For Claudine de Oliveira, grill master here at Adega Steakhouse, the quality of the charcoal used does make a big difference in the final product. A gente tem que estar atento porque o eucalipto é melhor para trabalhar porque a duração dele é mais tempo, ela mantém mais a consistência da brasa. E essa do carvão mais comum, ela costuma acabar mais rápido da brasa e virar aquela cinza. Aí atrapalha muito o nosso amendo do, do trabalho da carne. According to Brazil's official statistics institute, the number of Brazilians who use firewood or charcoal to cook rose by about 11%, some 1.2 million people more in 2017. But that has more to do with a hike in gas prices, which led the poorest to look for more economical alternatives for cooking. It was the case in the home of Maria Magda. She still has a gas stove running for the quick stuff, like boiling water. But over the last few months, she returned to using more firewood, as she did when she was young. The wood stove, rarely used until recently, is being lit daily now. Mais lento que o gás. E não é só eu não. Aqui não é só eu não. Aqui são várias pessoas. Os que ganham menos é os que mais sofrem. Para cozinhar um feijão, 
fazer uma costela, que é uma coisa que demora mais, uma carne demora mais. Eu, meu esposo busca para mim, eu não adquiro com os outros. Dr. Luiz Fernando Ferraz, a pathology professor in the University of São Paulo, says cooking with firewood at home can severely increase the risk of serious respiratory diseases. Uh, we have been developing um, lots of studies on indoor combustion of firewood. And in a recent study, uh, we observed that people that use firewood uh, to cook inside their houses uh, has the same incidence and prevalence of chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases as those that used to smoke more than uh, 20 cigarettes per day for 20 years. Brazil's charcoal industry has been responsible in the past for much damage to the environment and has been accused of serious disrespect of legal laws. But over the last few years, a combination of private investment, tougher laws and a decline in the market made a lot to improve the situation. If the strain remains, Brazil could have in the charcoal a sustainable and renewable option for its energy mix.